Okay, so we're knitting a hat and we're at the crown and we have been doing decreases. So we've reached a point with our circular needles that it is too tight to do any more decreases. So what we need to do is we actually have three different options, but this option I'm gonna show you is using DPNs. So you need four DPNs of the same size um, as your needle as well. And you are going to place these DPNs, three of them, evenly around your hat. So as you can tell, we have these stitch markers and they have worked great for circular needles, but for DPNs, we're actually going to drop a couple. So what we're gonna do is on our first DPN, we're gonna put first, second, and third section, and then we're gonna drop this one. And then we're gonna put on their second as we, this one, two, and three, and we'll drop this one. And then we'll, the last one we'll do the one and the two, and then we'll drop this one. So that is what you're going to do is you're gonna evenly, you're gonna place those stitches on three DPNs. And it's great, it's best to leave the end of the DPN where we have a marker so that we know where our decreases will be. So to get started, we're going to place the first three sections on one DPN. So you just slip them pearlwise onto a DPN, slip your marker, and then we are going to, I said three sections, we'll do the next section. And then your marker. And then we'll do one more section. So we got to the end of our first DPN. So now I'm just gonna drop this marker. We don't need it. And then we're gonna take our second DPN and we're gonna put three sections on our second DPN like so. And we're going to keep the first marker. And the second marker. And then we have one more section here to put onto our DPNs. And then we will drop this marker. Okay, and now our last section, we'll put our last DPN, we will put the last two sections on this DPN and we will also keep the marker. You might ask, and how will we know where the end of the round is? So because the last DPN has two sections, you can remember that this is the last DPN for the round. So now we have all stitches on three DPNs. So we're gonna continue working in the round. But now we need our fourth DPN to work in the round. So we're going to work across the first DPN and I am on a decrease round. So we'll knit till two stitches before the marker. And it's right here and we will do a knit two together. And you can see how your decreased stitches are going up like that. Okay, we'll slip our marker and then we will work the next section here until we have two stitches before our marker. And DPNs can be a little bit cumbersome, but just have to be careful that they don't slip off the stitches. Okay, we'll knit these two together slip our marker and now in this section we know we will knit until the end of two stitches before the end of this DPN and then we will knit those two stitches together. Okay so you continue your round that way with DPNs now we move on to the next one like so. So now you'll work across this DPN and then you'll work across this DPN and that will be the end of your round. 
and then you will do your just basic knit round next. So that's how you work DPNs when you are knitting in the round to decrease a hat for the top.